In the last episode of Project Prometheus, we built this ship, the Vanguard, which is ChatGPT's AI battleship. And this will fulfill the battleship component of the AI Armada. Now, there were a couple of issues with the original design, and because of the overwhelming viewer response to that video, I now have a bunch of things about this battleship that I feel are fair to change. Uh, in some ways, I think that I didn't realize ChatGPT's vision as well as I should have. So in today's episode of Project Prometheus, we are going to refit the AI Vanguard class battleship as it should have been outfitted from the factory. Hello everyone, my name is Nick and welcome back to From the Depths. I have in front of us here a, the AI Vanguard battleship. This is not completely the original version, but it is an early version of it. Uh, and in the video where I built this ship, I made it as what I called a sketch ship, which basically means I didn't take effort and, you know, finish it, actually. I just kind of built a very basic version of it. So in today's video, we're going to address a couple notable areas of concern with this battleship. First of all, the hull. So I will be the first to admit it. This hull is a bit of a mess uh, for several reasons. And this isn't even the original version. Uh, first of all, all these metal slope blocks are completely new. I've just added them recently. Uh, and the same is true with all of these. I modified the shape of the hull a little bit already. Uh, so that's our first issue is the hull design and not only that but the hull armor. Uh, you'll see now that there is a little a little more armor but we're still not where we should be. I mean the boilers are like completely unprotected even though they take up half of the ship. Uh, the other thing is the main armament. So you'll see I've removed it, uh, the original turrets, from the ship here. But I believe, and let's actually do this here, turn my HUD back on. I believe I saved them. Uh, yeah, try it. <laughs> this is the original, right? This is the original turret that this thing was equipped with. Now, once again, I will be the first to admit, this is not a good design. Not even a little bit. I mean, this thing... In addition to being wildly ineffective, it's just plain ugly. I mean, and it doesn't have any kind of aesthetic finishing. So today we're going to completely redo the main armament. That means we're going to get rid of this turret. Uh, we're going to redo a triangle turret in the way that it should have been done in the first place. Uh, and then the final big area we're going to address is detection. The ship doesn't have any kind of detection currently, detection components, anything like that. Uh, and with that, the AI could use some tweaking. So we're going to attack those three areas today with the Vanguard. So the biggest problem with the Vanguard, and arguably its biggest issue out of the gate, is its hull and armor scheme. So that was the first thing that I decided to fix. I added metal armor to the entirety of the hull, especially in important places. Additionally, I replaced the existing 1 meter blocks with beams wherever possible. Uh, on top of this, I used sloping blocks to make the aesthetics of the hull look much better because style is almost as important as function in most cases. I also added flares to the smokestack and reconstructed the superstructure, adding four new guns in between the citadel and the smokestack. Uh, and then I mounted detection components to the new mast that I built behind the superstructure. Uh, and then it came time to redo the main armament. So one of the Vanguard's biggest weaknesses in combat that was revealed in the sea trials in our last video was that its main battery was not only unreliable, but it was downright not powerful. Uh, and that you can't have that on a battleship because the whole point is for them to have big firepower and be able to b deliver punishing blows and to do it quickly. So I've gone ahead and built this turret, which is a, a big improvement over the last one. Uh, we're going to modify it a little bit, but I just wanted to start out with getting a three barrel 402 millimeter turret down. Uh, and what I've done is moved most of the machinery underneath so we can stow the turret below the deck. Uh, and that will help prevent damage to the turret. Uh, and I believe, let me, uh, here, just for 
the sake of argument, I will put a little ammo box on here so we can see what the rate of fire and everything is. Yeah. So these are the statistics for this turret. It's a uh, nine seconds per shot, which is a significant improvement over the last one. It's also more accurate, uh, more well armored, and it looks a lot better. But uh, we can't have just this because ChatGPT specifically asked for a triangular turret. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna quickly remove this top armor layer here. And I should, I used beams in the construction of this as well, uh, just to, help make things better. Uh, so we're gonna remove this barrel and this mantlet and this firing piece. Um, so what we will do, I'm basically going to just cheese this into a triangle turret. Uh, so the mantlet will go here, the firing piece, yeah, firing piece will go here, okay. So we go to advanced cannons, grab our firing piece, put it like that, uh, and then we'll get a cool corner. Oh boy. Let me monkey in here. Uh, so there we go. Like that. And then like that. <laughs> and then like this. And finally like that. And then we get our mantlet. So mantlets, we want the elevation. Move, face it the right way, and there we go. <laughs> oh, it gets goofier and goofier. Uh, okay, so barrels, four meter barrel, okay. And place, and place, and that should be good. Um, <laughs> this thing is so goofy looking. Uh, okay, and I've, I've taken aesthetics into account in this video because this ship is not a sketch ship anymore. It's supposed to be, if not finished, at least like a decent representation of its final form. Oh shoot, I forgot to turn on symmetry mode. I always do that. So what we're gonna do is just have, yeah, this will be perfect. We'll put a slope at the back of that. Oh, I can't fill that. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so we'll do this. We will do Put this here, and a four meter, or we'll do three meter slopes. Um, and by the way, thank you to everyone that commented on the last video, all the people that participated in the process. I read through every single comment uh, and really like learned a lot. So if you were one of the people that commented on the last video, you're the best, thank you. Uh, you directly contributed to building this ship. Okay, so let's put these here. And then I will do a three meter slope here and a one meter slope here, just to make it look cool. And there we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, it looks a little uglier than it did last time. In fact, let me put these here. Yeah, that's better, okay. So now we're gonna save this sub object. Okay, so sub objects, and we're gonna call it save the sub object, okay. So 402 millimeter, oh geez, triple barrel and triangle. Perfect. So here she is, ladies and gentlemen, the fully refitted Vanguard class battleship. I have added so many things to this ship and have made it so much better than it used to be. Uh, for one thing, we've reworked the entire hull. It's got armor interspersed and then very thick armor right along the, the middle of the ship here, uh, which is made of beams, not just blocks. We have a brand new main battery that is the funkiest looking main battery I have ever seen. I mean, look at this thing. It looks like some kind of alien. Uh, I redid the superstructure. Not really functional in the way that I redid it, but it's cool and it adds to the mojo of the ship. Added some flags, because why not? We also have these new cannons up here. Uh, what else did we add to this thing? General aesthetic changes. Uh, we made the hull a little more evenly balanced. And we added a bunch of really cool decorations. We added these change spotlights, railings, all that good stuff. But we know what you're all here for, and honestly, that's what I'm here for too. And that is the sea trials and the uh, combat trials. So the first thing we're going to do 
is I'm going to make the seas ridiculously rough, and then we're going to drive the Vanguard through it, see if it can go okay without capsizing, and then we are going to pit the Vanguard against some other battleships, including its past self, and we're going to see wh who prevails. Like, did we actually make this thing better, or did we just make it prettier? So let's see what happens. To ensure the Vanguard was as seaworthy as I needed it to be, I sailed it through one of the worst storms in the game. I basically just turned the wave factor up in the settings to its maximum setting, uh, and just let the ship do its thing. I told it to sail directly through the storm, uh, I didn't interfere at all with its controls, and as you can see, while the waves were massive, and uh, the ship had absolutely no right to handle them as well as it did, the Vanguard performed admirably. Uh, one of the advantages of this hull design is that since it is flat and wide, it is extremely stable in the water. Uh, not much of the Vanguard is ever submerged underwater, and the buoyancy is distributed very evenly. The one weakness of this hull design that became very apparent during the sea trials was that since the propellers are so high up, because the hull doesn't sit that low in the water, they're very prone to being pushed out of the water. But overall, the Vanguard did an excellent job in its sea trials. So it's time for combat trials. In corner number one, we have the refitted Vanguard, or the Vanguard V2, with the new main battery, better armored hull, better secondary armament, better everything, pretty much. And in corner two, we have Jacob's Treehouse. Uh, the original Vanguard beat this, so I'm expecting this to go pretty smoothly, but let's see what happens. Alright, first battery. Okay. I didn't see any hits. Oh, oh, oh. That is, it targets under the water line there. Oh, that thing is taking some serious damage. The Vanguard seems completely unscathed. The Jacob's Treehouse is just getting shredded. Oh my god, it's a, it's a slaughter. <laughs> Oh, a devastating hit. Holy cow. The triangular battery is a really interesting choice, and I'm pretty sure that that's never been done on a battleship in real life, so I'm really curious where ChatGPT got that, because ChatGPT basically just works by reading, like, hundreds of other texts, thousands of texts, and saying, like, oh, this is probably what this would say. That probably doesn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. This thing's been completely destroyed. Jeez, the Vanguard just shredded it. Uh, not that this is much of an adversary. Wow, it actually died. Okay. Let's check in on our buddy over here. So, I'm not seeing any signs of damage. Oh, what a cool shot. Yeah. Not seeing any signs of damage. There's some slight shots taken on the hull, but really nothing. She's completely fine. Uh, okay. Well, next up, the next craft we're going to have it attack here. We are going to pit it against the... Uh, actually, we'll do the previous version of itself. So let me go all the way over here. Full disclaimer, this is not the exact previous version because I did not have the foresight to pray to save the previous version, but it is a close replica. Uh, it does not have the better main armament. It has, however, a better secondary armament, but no case-mated guns, uh, and it does have better hull armor. So let's see how these two behemoths fight. Okay... First volley, nothing big seems to have happened. Some big hits on the old Vanguard. Yeah, the old Vanguard is taking some serious damage. And it looks like, let's get around here. Let's get a good shot of that firing main battery. Come on, give us a, there it is. Oh, right through it, man. You gotta, you gotta wonder what the AI is aiming for that improved detection has definitely come in handy here. <laughs> it's gonna go for the classic Vanguard maneuver, the battering ram. Let's 
have a look at the boiler room section back here. Oh, interesting, interesting. The new Vanguard is actually taking some more serious damage, it looks like. That's a little concerning. Where? Uh, yeah, I guess there is damage here, but it doesn't look to be that severe. That's, that's interesting. Whereas we, yeah, we've taken some, all the, and the boilers are knocked out. That's not good. <laughs> this thing can aim above the superstructure now, that's ridiculous. Okay, well this fight is not going to end very quickly because this ship has just had its propulsion taken out. That is one of the Vanguard's biggest weaknesses, I think that eventually in the, the big battles that we'll have between my ships and the AI, that's going to be a serious pitfall for the Vanguard. Um, <laughs> nice job, main battery. Let's see where these get. Okay, so so we are we are tearing into it. ship's AI is dead. So actually, while the old Vanguard held up better at first, it was quickly taken out by the new Vanguard. You just gotta love those punishing hits and the nice, the nice sound they make. So I would call that, I would call that a moderate success. And I also, you know, I would like to note that the version of the old Vanguard that we are fighting against is not truly its old self so there is obviously some bias there um and then let's do one final fight so i'm going to destroy all vehicles and we're going to hit it against an arguably superior adversary which is the steel striders iron maiden so it not the paladin it will die it lost this fight uh previously this is a way better built ship I do not expect it to win, but let's see what happens. Good first shot. Seems to have hit. The increased detection is really doing us big favors. We're able to get better hits on these enemy ships. Oh yeah, look at that. Punishing hits to the to the armor. Right out of the gate. I'm not sure where it's going, can you Oh, it's the deep water guard! Oh no! <laughs> I forgot to change it back to my team. They're still fighting it because you know, they're on different teams. Oh, that is cool. So let's zoom out here. So it looks like the Vanguard and the uh, Iron Maiden are trying to pull away, put some distance between each other, but the Vanguard is scoring repeated hits. I mean, almost all of these shells are hitting the Iron Maiden. So I think I think the Vanguard has enough firepower to be potent as a battleship. Its main weakness is in the exposed nature of its engines. Let's see here. Look at the yeah, man. Let's have a look at the armor. Of this ship. So it's not it's not getting too bad yet. It's barely taking that many hits. And we haven't taken out either of the main guns. Let's have a look at the Vanguard and see how she's doing. <laughs> you gotta love that. The triangle battery. Let's go. Oh, something just happened. Okay, I don't know what it was. Uh, this turret's been taken out. The boiler room is okay for now. Not seeing any major armor penetration. Oh no, torpedoes. Oh, that hurts. One of the Vanguard's biggest weaknesses is that it does not have any armor on its underside. It is very vulnerable to torpedo hits. Uh, and if it's turning and a shell happens to get underneath of it, it's done for. 
Let's check in on the Iron Maiden over here, see how it's faring in battle. Oh, something just blew up. Something big. It must have been on the, uh, our ship. Yeah, it was. Oh, man, what is that? Something huge just broke. What? Let's see. Yup, that's what I was afraid of. It has lost its uh, fuel and ammunition storage, which officially means it will be out of ammo very soon. If we look at on this here, well, this is not on our team, so we can't tell. But uh, she's in hot pursuit, <laughs> and the boilers are still operating. And for now, the guns are still firing. That's good. Come on, let's let's get one more fire out of this main battery. There we go. Okay, let's have a look at the Iron Maiden. I mean, the battle is pretty much over because pretty soon the Vanguard will be out of ammunition. But yeah, let's let's do a little battle assessment here. So, what did we improve today on the Vanguard? We improved the Firepower through the main battery. We improved the armor uh, through the belt armor and just general aesthetics. And we improved the AI and detection. So I think this ship is officially good enough to be entered into the AI fleet. Uh, so if you haven't watched the intro to Project Prometheus that I released the other day, uh, the goal of the project is to build a full AI armada. So this ship will be the first entry into ChatGPT's armada. Eventually, I will construct my own battleship that will be the first entry into my armada. Uh, but for now, I think we've done a good enough job of building this into a semi-capable ship. I mean, I'm not an expert at this game by any means, but I think she can hold her own. I mean, it's still fighting. It's still fighting against the Iron Maiden, even though it's been pretty pummeled. Um, but anyway, in future videos, uh, most ships will not get a refit. Most ships I will just construct better on the first try. Um, but I would call this a success for ChatGPT, and I'm going to have to step up my battleship game if I want to keep up. Uh, but anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Project Prometheus. I hope you'll tune in for the next one, uh, and I hope you have a wonderful day.